What's up, y'all? This is your boy Ellen now from Cali. We are now tapped in for another real review. Now, if you're not familiar with real reviews, it actually started off with uh, my boy uh, E Breezy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he's been doing a lot of things with on within his media career, and you know what I'm saying me being uh, the street A and R Ellen now from Cali. You know I have to step in, um, and we're gonna start back up the real reviews, man. Um, now there's a couple of rules to mind. You know, I think a lot of people they just be reviewing stuff. But I don't think they really be having like a rubric or a specific guideline on like what makes a video a great video. Like, of course, artists got to have lyrical content. Um, I think the actual relatability or the actual relevance of the video to like the music, like if the lyrics match what's going on in the video, I feel like that's always, you know, it helps with it just like going together with the music and actually flowing um and then like you know last but not least like definitely like the visual effects and the editing uh because like the videographers and the editors put in a lot of work and i feel like a lot of the times it just gets looked over because it just be a whole lot of scenes put together like i feel like you know music videos are supposed to tell a story but that's enough of my little two cents man um we finna get into this first video first video we got is a uh, ak triple four featuring d baby prayer cassettes and mud um so yeah, we finna tap in. Um, we got you feel me like they standing outside. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I don't even think y'all be noticing, bro. But a lot of times you be seeing who like the artists be kicking it with. You feel me like, and just starting. I first start Cash Jundy. If you notice, like if you ever seen dude name Cash Jundy be like shooting almost everybody video bro uh when it comes to like the south or like for sure like texas bro like if you notice on like sosa man videos sauce walker videos rizzo rizzo videos a lot of dallas artists videos like even out to like florida you feel me like you're gonna see cash jundy's like sign on something um and you can see this starting off right here like you got visuals by cash jundy uh yeah, and then like you see D Baby you got Sauce walking here. Look like they at the Sauce Factory for real. Sauce Gohan right here. I don't like over here in the right. Well, you know what I'm saying with the um, with the with the with the maroon beanie on. Like, yeah, bro. I I just I just think that uh, I just noticed that like that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, AK Triple Four for sure tapped in. He's definitely uh stamped out here in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Um. But yeah, you see D Baby over here. He already lit. So yeah, let's get let's get back to the video though. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That edit, that transition was crazy. This transition was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They all tapped in. You know, sauce right there. Oh. Mm. See, see right there. I don't think people be noticing. That's why I be talking about like how many artists really be tapped in with each other, bro. Like, so this artist in particular, Sauce Money JC, um, he's a part of TSF too, and actually got like a pretty player song out. He dropped a tape recently, but like, and then behind him, um, you got Treetop Seven, which is like also a real dope artist out of Dallas too. But yeah, bro, I just I don't be knowing if everybody be putting two or two together. They be just like solely just like, oh my gosh, like you know what I'm saying? They just be reacting like basically. But I think when you're talking about artists and like them being tapped in, you can tell by based off like who the cameos and stuff being their videos. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, bro, let me get back to the video though. Sauce. See, 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 let me go back real quick. I don't want to just keep stopping on like everybody, but I just feel like it makes sense to like, you know what I'm saying? Just show it. 
So right here, bro, say so P is from uh Florida. Like if you ever pay attention to like his uh lives and stuff on Instagram or whatever, like he been blowing up here and there. Um I say Florida really. He's a Memphis artist, but he spends a lot of time out in Florida and um him and Sauce Walker actually got like some songs out and stuff like that, but he been doing a whole lot of like he's been he's been having a whole lot of motion um here recently in the last couple of months, but like bro just like casually and bro song. I just think that's like something to pay attention to, you know what I'm saying? Hey. You go Rizzo. Gohan. See, now look. Zillionaire Doe has been going crazy. When I say been going crazy, bro, Zillionaire Doe has been going crazy in the industry, bro. Like, and I'm going to do a review on him, too. I'm going to do a review on Zillionaire Doe, too. But to see that he locked in, you know what I'm saying, with AK Triple Four is, like, crazy because it's just, like, you're able to make the connection, bro. So, like, when you're hearing these people on songs together, it's not like a, uh, it's not like a surprise, you know what I'm saying, because it's, like, You've been seeing, bro. You feel me? Like, you can kind of see when certain features are coming up. If you're paying attention, if you tapped in, you know what I'm saying? Like, the street AR is, you feel me? Like, but you be, you can notice that when you just be seeing, like, it's not just, like, casually. Like, they got to rock with each other just to be in each other's videos, you know what I'm saying? Especially when they ain't got no verses on the song, you feel me? Uh, uh, and I just left from I got my water in the jug. Yeah. I just bought some wind. I came from Grandma's house with bugs. Yeah. See, it's crazy too, cause I, I I know I paused it after D Baby's part, cause I be having to listen. You feel me? Cause he is like, I don't know, people would consider that like the drink talk, but you feel me? But like he is like speaking at a tone, but he was rapping the whole time. Like he giving you like punchlines and metaphors, even if it's talking about like you know the whip talk with cars or drink talk like with sipping and stuff. But he's still like going off on the beat. You know what I'm saying? And I I seen a comment they was talking about uh, D Baby. They was like, bro, really just gave him like a mumble rap on the verse, but like he was still rapping on that mug. And I just think it kind of goes like, um, sometimes people like undermine it or they don't really be looking at it because maybe they not picking up on everything he's saying. So yeah, I just want to give bros props. Oh my gosh, hold on, bro. Hold on, let me go back. Let me go back. See, and this is the thing. Let me see. Let me make a stop on it. Okay, I know I stopped it off his face on the zoom in part, but this this Montana 700. So, bro just recently went off on like a famous animal freestyle, and people are starting to get hip to bro. But he been like that. That's so I'm, I'm gonna do a review over it, bro, too. But yeah, Montana 700 for sure killed this mug, and AK Triple Four like. His whole hook on this song is like, yeah, something I could listen to in the gym, something I could like repetitively play. I wake up in the morning, boom, doom, doo doo doom, doo doo doom, doo doo doom. Like, yeah. Almost give me, it's, I sound like the same simple from Mask Off, but like he took like a shorter part of it though. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
See, that's what I was talking about. That's that Cash Jundy right there. And I've never noticed he even said that. What is life? Life in my environment. See, that's crazy. And he got, uh, I think Jundy's from Houston. I think there's at the bottom, if you notice the bottom of the light bulb, it looked like that might be Houston's like uh, downtown skyline. But yeah, bro. Out of all in all, edits. I mean, we know Cash Jundy's like a, a credible videographer. Um, edits, I for sure give it a A. He has some dope transitions in that mug from like the masking. Um, for all my videographers, editors know that like the masking was crazy. Um, as far as like cutting the scenes between where they at, I feel like they definitely like got the concept of what this video was supposed to be. I mean, you know, video name is a uh, Percocet and Mud remix. Um, then I they yeah for sure I'm sure you know they got the point across with that with uh the drink talk from D Baby and them being in the studio and like just having them studio vibes. Uh, as far as the lyrics. I feel like they both, you know, held their own. D-Baby rapped on it. Gave them even, you know, like two verses. Um, AK Triple Four, you know, kicked it off. Um, and they continued to push on it. So, I, I I think it was pretty solid, man. I think it was pretty solid. And, um, yeah. I, 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 I give the song, I give the song a strong B+. Because I still want to hear them rap rap. But I know this was just like one of them vibe full songs. So, yeah, B plus overall from lyrics to video production to editing. So, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to Cash Jundy once again. Yeah. Yeah, man, and don't forget to um subscribe, comment, like, um, tap in with me on Instagram again, LA Not from Cali. You know the street A and R, and you can also uh, get with me on Industries TV as well. Um, and Instagram page for that, of course, is Industries TV. I N D U S T R E E T S T V. Uh, Industries TV. But yeah, definitely tap in, man. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll definitely have more uh, music video reactions for you. You feel me? We out. <laughs>